Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. Go to bigherc916.com, pick up some merch, or holler at me about some artwork, or grab a bar of soap and wash your ass, because ain't nothing worse than a smelly butt and bad B.O. Woo! Man, um, it's time to take back America, man. And if it's not done, very soon, there will not be an America left. This administration has shown that they do not care about the American people. They have allowed businesses to be burned down, looted, destroyed. People have lost their jobs. The drug crisis with the fentanyl, out of control. You got homeless people in airports coming here, getting free medical care, free housing, and we have veterans who are homeless and committing suicide at a rate that's unacceptable. But nobody cares in the government. They continue to turn a blind eye. Man, check out the Chicago airport. So just to give you guys an update on why I'm here, the flight got canceled in Chicago. I was actually flying home to see my girls. So I got to stay here a night. So I figure what better thing to do than uh, come and show you what's happening, give you an update. And surprise, surprise, it's worse. There's more people here than there were before. That entire curtain all the way back for 100 yards is full, and they're actually coming out out to here as well. And every single day, more and more and more bus loads. And there are hundreds of locations around the area here that are full. Every single day, they're getting more full. The weather, weather's getting worse, and there's no end in sight because the Democrats are inviting more of this. What's up, bro? My boy again. Hey. He said. You need to die. Wait, this is the first guy who put me on the film the first time. Yep, I put you on the film because he said my mom should swallow me. And you get to be on film because you're in public. Venezuela, they've actually, so this whole thing, this whole black curtain, full of illegals all the way down, the entire bus terminal is no taken picture. over. Who said no pictures? You're in America. This whole bus terminal has been taken over by illegals because they've been invited in by Joe Biden. But now they don't even have room behind here. They have hundreds behind this black curtain. Now they're, they're having to put the beds out here so that American citizens can't even sit out here anymore. You got more beds coming here. So American citizens are standing out in the freezing cold out here because they don't want to come in here. And on February 2nd, this entire thing is getting taken over where media is not going to be able to come in. Citizens aren't going to be able to come in. It's only illegal aliens that are going to be allowed to be in here. This is Joe Biden's America. This is the Democrats' America. Please stay away from curtain. Please stay away. Don't touch. Private. It's private here, guys. Private here. So this, so if I go in there, I'm breaking the law. But if you come in illegally into our country, that's fine. And then it's Wow, military from Venezuela. There he is. That's a lot of people in there. Yeah. I don't know if you could kind of see through the, the, the hundreds. Sheet. It's There's hundreds. A lot of people in there. For the most part, I just think that you know, at Iggy, you can't cross over any border in any other country but ours. Yeah. Um, and from what I've seen, it's a lot of military age men coming yeah. from other countries, and that's concerning. Yeah. Um, but I know people want to have a better life, and America's yeah. the land of golden opportunity. Um, but I think there has to be just a, a, a legal and a fair way to get here. Oh, we can't handle it. I know, we can't handle it. can't handle that many. Um, I don't want to say freeloaders, but that many people getting things for free and, you know, um, not putting in the work and doing their part. Yeah. So, yep. hopefully they, you know, I don't know, we'll see how it all works out in the next administration. So. Yeah. Any preference on who wins? Um, no, I don't really talk politics, but... 
I'd say I'm a little bit of a moderate. Yeah. I go both ways on different subjects, but I do know one important thing is we've got to tighten our borders. I don't yeah. want to say shut them, but we've got to tighten them. Yeah, get control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, God bless it's you. Flooding in. Yeah. Yep. I appreciate you taking the time. Day. You too. So you can't really see back there, but all of those, there's just caught after caught after caught. This entire thing, all the way down. All cuts. And the NGOs that are running them. I just love these. I love the, the number of signs. Stay away from the curtains. Look at this. Look at the amount of signs. It would be nice if we had that on our border. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy, guys. There you go. If you guys voted for Joe Biden, this is what you got. If you vote for him again, you're getting more of it. It's the death of our country. So sick of it, guys. I'm so sick of it. That's why. We have to reelect President Trump. It doesn't matter what lie they make up about him. It doesn't matter what next indictment, fraud indictment they, they bring up. It doesn't matter what fraud impeachment. It doesn't matter what Russia hoax they bring up again. It's all lies. And they know it because they know that if President Trump's back in there, they're out. Not just the illegals here, but the people that are aiding and abetting the destruction of our country. That's disgusting, man. That is horrible. They said more people in the last three and a half years have came here than the state of Ohio. Over 8 million. See, this whole plan is to flood our country to destroy it. You got people here who are mad when you walk around and talk about you're proud of the American flag. And then the people who have been here who are talking about fascist Marxist bullshit, they need to get the hell out. Leave. We don't want you here. You don't like America? Leave. But if you're here and you believe in the values of this country, then stand up. I think that these other governors who are coming to the aid of uh, the Texas Governor Abbott, as far as the trucking convoy, hey man, people need to know that you have their back and that we're not just going to sit over here passively and allow our borders to be, to be flooded out. Check it out. The former president, uh, Donald Trump, has suggested to all the Republican governors out there, uh, send members of your state's National Guard. In your case, Governor, it would be the Oklahoma National Guard. Send them down to Texas to help Greg Abbott. Are you going to do that? Absolutely. You know, I've done it once before, and we're looking. I already talked to my tag, my General Mancino. We've already started putting the numbers together. Uh, we'll be in contact with Governor Abbott. You know, we, we may not be the most perfect nation. America is not without its flaws. Every country has had flaws. You can name, you know, you can try to get into all the different racial context and, and be like, oh, this and that. Look, every country, you go to any country, they've had issues. Everybody's had problems in the past. They they maybe have a uh, something on, on their books that, isn't, isn't copacetic as far as how they conducted themselves in the past. But America, for the most part, has allowed opportunity for those who work hard, for those who come together. And if we can get past this fake-ass divide that they're trying to create with us, because it's not about black or white, um, you know, Hispanic, uh, Asian. It's about America, man. It's about America and its values. And uh, I, I'm not one sitting around cheering to have America destroyed. You got a lot of people that really undercover are haters, man. They're, they're haters, but they're not doing nothing to make the country better. If anything, they're pushing hatred. 
They don't have any ideas to try to bring solutions together, but yet they want to blame all the, the America. So, okay, it collapses. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You think we're going to have a, uh, 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 an economic system? Everybody's getting the same thing, man. Nah, man, this ain't socialism, brother. This ain't fascism. We ain't with, I ain't with no communist bullshit. I believe that you come here, you, you come here legally, you earn yours and you work hard and you invest and get together with other people. If you want to um, participate in capitalism, then so do so. But the shit they're doing and they're thinking everybody else is going to carry the weight. Hey, man, <laughs> that, that shit ain't what America's about. And the people right now who are the face of America, they're here to destroy America. And the, the, the media, <laughs> for them to say, you know, oh man, um, we're, 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 we've deported more people here in, in, in this administration. Come on, really? Just like all the drugs coming in, just like all the, the increased crime, the lawlessness, and it's just out of control, man. And eventually it's going to spill over from these blue states into the red states. It's disgusting, man. California, somebody breaking your house and you shoot them, you're going to jail. But they broke in your house and, and tried to rape you. What type of nonsense? Is it? Does that even make sense that somebody can break in your house, assault you and your family, and you can't protect yourself? What are you supposed to do? Try to make peace with that person? You got people right now who get out. They're not even showing up for court. Because they know that there's no consequence. There's no accountability. Look, man, I, I, I did my crime. I had to do my time. I don't have no pity for these suckers, man. These people run around, need their wigs split. You come up in somebody's house, you get your wig split. Ain't no pass. Ain't no, oh, get out of jail. No, you get your wig split, man. You got what you got coming. The American way. I had to learn the hard way. You're going to have to learn the hard way, man. But we need to step our game up, America. We need to grow some balls and stop letting uh, 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 these whoever's funding these people over here to be bullying us. Like we're some suckers. Because I'm telling you, man, how the hell are these people getting flights all the way over here to South America and then marching up? Who's feeding these people on the caravans? How are they getting, you got people in speedboats coming right up, right up into the neighborhoods in um, La Jolla in Southern California. They coming right up on the, I mean, dude, this shit is crazy. It's crazy. And if you aren't worried about that, then you must have had your head in the dirt, man. Get your head out the dirt. And um, you, you better, you better, uh, you know, step your game up and man up and protect your family, man. These people over here, they, they, they don't give a date when shit hit the fan. And if you got people who, who don't like the flag, then you're not American. Get the hell out of here. Then you don't like to get the hell out. Then it, it ain't your country. You don't bring your country over here. You, you assimilate. You don't want to assimilate. Get out. Hey, man, America first. Step your game up. Big Herc 916. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang-banging in juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison while serving a 120 month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. 
This is my journey against all odds. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.